to another edition of Chris Rush Reviews here on YouTube.com. Today, you guys, I'm going to be doing my WWE NXT review. Um, so today is Wednesday. You know, as I said before, I'll be doing my reviews a day after you guys. But I really do appreciate you guys for tuning in. You don't have to watch me, you guys. You can just probably, I mean, if you got, if you have YouTube Prime, just close out the video, do whatever else you were doing. But just listen to me. Or if you got a computer, just open up another tab on your browser and, uh, you know, just listen to what I have to say. If you agree, you know, with all my uh, things that I have to say about NXT, um, as far as the matches, the whole show in general, just make sure you leave a comment down below in the description. Well, down below in the comment section, you guys. Uh, so, yeah. Um, so, yeah, you guys, let me go ahead and jump into every NXT Uh believe there was only five matches last night you guys um so let's go ahead like i said jump into it first match you guys we had mercedes martinez of course um you know mercedes martinez she definitely wants uh raquel gonzalez uh wwe nxt women's championship she definitely wants that uh she has like a mean um and aggression like thing uh, going on uh, in, Mar in Mercedes Martinez last night, she faced Dakota Kai. And with that, you guys, um, basically in this match, um, Mercedes Martinez, uh, she was, try I guess she was trying to end the career of Dakota Kai, but Raquel Gonzalez stepped in and, you know, took out uh, Mercedes Martinez. So uh, it was, you know, the match ended up in a disqualification. So, you guys, what I have to say about this is I am ready for whenever the next NXT TakeOver show is or if it be on a regular NXT thing. But for this match with Mercedes, with Martinez versus Gonzalez, then, you know, we both have two talented wrestlers in this match whenever they decide to have it. And I hope it, it's at a WWE NXT TakeOver uh, thing. But... But yeah, you guys, I mean, this this right here, this is going to be a great match between these two whenever, like I said, whenever they decide to have it, Martinez versus Gonzalez. So yeah, um, so yeah, then they had a uh, promo backstage, you guys, where, it, well, a promo in the ring, which was uh, the Grizzly Young Veterans uh, talks about, you know, um, them wanting the tag team titles and talking about all the other teams and so on and so forth, you guys. And so um, they, you know, they basically want to fight MSK. MSK is another great tag team, you guys. Um, so, yeah, I mean, Grizzly Young Veteran, they try to prove themselves. And then we had um, the return of Toothless Tim Timothy Thatcher. I have a hard time trying to say that, you guys. Timothy, Timothy Thatcher. Um, so he came back and, you know, uh, he was injured, you guys, so he finally made his return last night uh, alongside with his friend. Old old Man Champa is what they, you know, they basically call themselves now. Old Man Champa and Toothless Tim Timothy Thatcher. And so um, they end up brawling with the Grizzly and Veterans. I know, um, I know, Oni look, I, I know that, not, why, do I gotta keep saying Oni Lorcan? I get Timothy Thatcher and only Oni Lorcan mixed up. But anyways, you guys, I'm ready to see these two teams square off at least next week on NXT. Uh, where, you know, where we also have a match they're going to announce later on if you already have not heard it. But anyways, you guys, I'm ready to see Grizzly and Veterans and uh champa and uh thatcher definitely uh compete in a tag team match you guys or some type of street fight or some type of brawl or something like that you guys so we're definitely gonna see how this is gonna transpire um two great tag teams hands down you guys second match i have um that i want to talk to you about guys which they had tony storm versus a rookie girl by the name of zaya ramir um zaya ramir was putting in a lot of effort against tony storm um, also Zoe Starks, uh, she came out there and, you know, was watching on. And so, uh, the rookie Zaya Ramirez ends up picking up the victory, which was a surprise to me. It was very wild to see. She hit, she hit one of those, um, those shooting star presses, you guys, which was phenomenal, which was phenomenal. So we definitely have to see what Zaya 
um, I think that's how you say her name, Zaya Ramirez, definitely has in the tank, you guys, because I know she's going definitely going to be a great, <clears throat> excuse my birds back there, you guys, they are, every time I'm always doing a video, you probably always hear them, you guys, but then again, um, Zaya Ramirez is definitely going to be, um, you know, great. Uh, person, you know, to the NXT brand inside the WWE uh, as well. So hopefully um, WWE will keep her moving forward, have her to have another match once again with Tony Storm possibly next week on NXT. So yeah, let me know your thoughts on that one, you guys. All right, then we had uh, a backstage thing where Legato Del Fantasma uh, wants revenge on Kushida uh, from last week because last week we seen Kushida uh, defeat uh, Santos Escobar uh, for the WWE NXT Cruiserweight Championship. And so, you know, yeah, you guys. So third match you, we had, you guys, which was Bronson Reed versus Austin Theory. Well, the coloss the colossal Bronson Reed versus Austin Theory. Dexter Loomis uh, highlights in his match. Um, Dexter Loomis ends up walking out following Indy Hartwell around the ring, you guys. And she gets in the ring and, you know, you know, she looks at um, Dexter Loomis, but she was like, no, no, no. And then, so after then, uh, Dexter Loomis pushes in, because um, uh, she was, uh, like, both of them was up on the rope. She was on the inside of the rope. Dexter Loomis was standing on the outside, up on the apron, guys. And so with that, um, uh, uh, Dexter Loomis put, you know, pushed uh, Indy Hartwell out of the way. And, you know, he ended up getting, um, uh, you know, pushed down off the ropes. Uh, I believe it was by Bronson, uh, Bronson, no, no, it wasn't by Bronson, it was by Austin Three because Bronson Reed, um, it, it was one of them got pushed to the rope, you guys, but, um, after then, you guys, that's when, um, that's when, uh, that's when, um, Bronson Reed goes up for, on the top rope, um, for the tsunami finisher and ends up picking up the victory, and in this match, you guys, um, Bronson Reed will get, an, get another shot, um, may, I, hopefully it's next week, you guys, on NXT against Johnny Gargano for the NXT North American Championship. Great title, I have to say, in my, uh, in my opinion. Hopefully Bronson Reed's pick, pick up the, uh, victory there. All right, fourth match you had, we, we had, you guys, which was Imperium, uh, versus Killian Dane and Drake Maverick. Uh, in this match, you guys, it, it, it will... It will stay not too good or anything like that, but Imperium reigns victory, uh, you know, over Killian Dane and Drake Maverick once again. So, um, you guys, with Imperium, they are a phenomenal tag team. They are who they say they are. They are Imperium. Also, they're the general of that team, you guys, is the WWE U United Kingdom champion, Walter. And Walter, he de Walter definitely has like you know put some you know put some real you know put some real work in to these guys and i have to say that um question well basically question is who can stop imperium who can stop the nxt uh nxt united kingdom champion walter um uh, i seen one per i seen a couple of people they uh, were saying that um killing name versus walter book it but we'll definitely have to see what um what way that WWE will um go with that um over on the UK side. All right, then the main event you we had you guys, which was Legato del Fantasma. Of course, we got um we had uh Raul Mendoza in there. I for, I don't remember the other guy's name. Then we had Santo Escobar versus the team of MSK, which is Carter in Wesley, uh, and Kushida. So basically in this match, you guys, Wesley throws um um throws one of the guys from the God of Dale Fantasma to the outside. Um Santos uh, hits a frog splash, but Wesley ends up moving out the way. And Kushida had a hurt arm, you guys. He was on the he was on the outside. Doctors were checking on him. Then um what else in this match, you guys? Um Wesley was on was the only one that were you know that was um able to fight in this match then uh nash carter ends up getting back up you know to the thing wanting they um wanting to tag wesley ends up tagging him in he start hitting knee strikes so on and so forth kushida ends up coming back in with the heart with the hurt arm um and so and so basically um the two members of gato del Fantasma 
um, Raul Mendoza, and I can't remember the other guy's name, uh, not Santo Escobar, though, you guys, but um, they end up uh, picking up their victory um, over, they end up picking up their victory uh, over MSK and Kushida, so possibly we'll, we see MSK versus Legado del Fantasma next week on NXT, or will we see it the week after, or at an NXT uh, event, but that is it, you guys, for WWE NXT Review. Um, thank you guys for tuning in, listening in, whatever you've done, you guys. Um, so, yeah, I really do appreciate you guys for tuning in to Chris Wrestling Views. Tonight, you guys, we got AEW Dynamite, you guys. Um, and, the far, and next week, you guys, we have a big... Um, oh, I forgot to mention the match, you guys. Next week, we got a, a street fight, which is going to which is gonna be... Um, which is going to be Ember Moon and Shotzi Blackheart versus uh, The Way, which the members are Indy Hartwell and Candice LeRae. So we're definitely going to see how that street fight is going to go next week. Um, so, yeah, thank you all for tuning in to Chris Wrestling Views here on YouTube.com. I really do appreciate everything you guys do. I have some um, ways you can contact me down below. Follow me on TikTok, Twitter, Instagram, um, and all that, you guys. And thank you all for watching Chris Wrestling Views here once again on YouTube.com. <laughs>